All right, so this is something a lot of people are going to be curious about. I am probably, to my knowledge, the first person in the actual United States to have a chance to purchase this. This is Takuma Koga's 2019 Koshino Kanbai Brewery Toyota Camry. In 124 scale, at least. The 164 is coming soon. So I got this just the other night. Um, let's not hit the stand. So this... Oh, man, where did we begin? All right, so I'm going to take a tour of the packaging. The roof of the car. It's just the Koshino Kenbai logo, which is a lot more intricate than I thought. Pretty beautiful. Uh, it's a Japanese company. Takuma Koga, being the lone Japanese driver in the series, does find himself with a lot of overseas sponsorships. Um, I can, so I've only bought one 124 in my life. That's a Michael Waltrip car. So register your DIN. Flip it around. We got the Koshino Kenbai, the 77. Koshino Kenbai. 2019 camera one of 500 damn that makes me feel special i don't want 500 of these in the entire world now so the packaging on this is strikingly beautiful i think it's the basic template that they use i don't buy 124 so i'm not entirely sure now i was able to get this car via a few how do i put uh not not plugs or links, but a guy sent me to the guy. Long story short, 70 bucks later, I got this. And so now I think it's a good time to actually take the car out of the package. So I'm going to pause the video real quick. All right, so we're back. And let's take this bad boy. We got the stand right here. So the first thing you're going to notice is that the stand is signed rather than the car. Some people I've heard don't like that idea. I personally love it. Makes it real nice as a display piece. You got driver signature. Bam, the car. So other than that, it's just a typical base. Uh, I've already unscrewed this. Let's get it out of the way. So here we are. Let me prop up the camera real quick. All right, that's as high as I can get this thing to go. So it's a pretty nice looking car. Um, this is the standard scheme of the PP1M crew from uh, Southern California. They're officially located in Azusa. I'm pretty sure there's shops in Baldwin Park because I saw them loading up a late model with the trailer. Um, so, start off, uh, we got Koshino Kenbai, which is a sake brewery on the hood. Uh, we got the, something I didn't expect was the Performance P1 Motorsports logo is on the car. We got Sunoco, Edo Brock, Comp, Mail Moog. And one thing I did notice while going over this is you see the decals right here all the contingencies those aside from like i think jegs and mechanics wear none of those are actually canon west contingencies what they had done i believe is got a template of a cup car slap that over it which is a technique i've used so so we got your canon pro series logo the pole award logo because sake good Coors Light, bad. Uh, mechanics Wear, Holly. You got General Tire, Takuma Koga. You got the old NASCAR race car decal. That was something I wasn't expecting. A lot of small logos and sponsors. We got Old Style, Jans Towing, um, Wallace Sign Company. Oh, boy. <sighs> okay, so we got Lanico, IDT, Cheetah, Nagoya, something, Micron, Toy Toyota. Uh, we got Gazoo Racing Garage, Takatsuki, Koshino Kenbai, Laundry, Ash, these. I think that's it. Uh, there's a few down here I don't know. We got JPC, and I don't know what that green one is. Lobster, and uh, come up here. We got Kansai Nomura, Motorsports, something, Speed Graphics, and Atex. Takuma Kogo, that's actually stylized, which, I mean, odds are they've actually raced with it like that. Toyota, I'm not sure what that one is right there. We got Takuma Koga in the same font, as you can see. T3R, I'm not entirely sure what that is. Koshino Kanbai, Camry, standard. One fun little detail about this is this is on the 2018 Toyota Camry for the NASCAR Xfinity Series. 
similar to how they were going to do the Venturini Arc cars on this body. And the Chad Finch, Fincham car from uh, the East series got made on this a few years back as well. And, you know, you got the standard Pro Series, which I think is a slight variation of the normal one. And one of my favorite details about this car, which I didn't notice, which I'll... Let me bust out my screwdriver real quick. Is, it is a hood opening die cast. You do feature Toyota underneath the hood. It's a pretty beautiful car, and the fact that a team that runs about 10th, 11th, so mid, rear of the field every week, got one of these made is absolutely beautiful to me, because I love teams in the back, I love local guys, well, can't really call Takuma local, but the team is, and it's beautiful all around. For 70 bucks, it's one of 500, it's a beautiful looking car. Comes with a nice base, and there's two 164s as well. Uh, I'll be getting those in just a second. And I mean, if you, when these cars do get released, because the official announcement I was told was pushed back due to COVID 19, so that's why they've waited to officially sell these, which they haven't actually officially started it yet. I basically got a preview sale, but I mean, if you get a chance, if you find this at a race for the Arkham Minority Series West, I say it's perfect. It's got engine detail. It's a beautiful scheme. All in all, I love this in my collection. It's the second 124 I've ever bought. Both are West Series cars. Uh, I hope that this is the beginning of a few more Koga cars. As difficult as they'll probably be the fine. Uh, you do see this car on track on some of the Arkham Menard Series races and most of the Menard Series West. So, uh, I think I've gone on enough. So... See you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. First time I've done a 124 review in a long time, so excuse me if I was a little drowned out. But you guys take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.